from the shooting on a Metro bus that left two people dead in Berkeley. The Magic K Squad quickly worked this investigation. News 11's Kelly Hoskins is live in Berkeley with the latest. Kelly. Well, Elliot, a news conference just wrapped up here at the Berkeley City Hall. Now, this is not too far from where that deadly shooting happened. It's right down the street here, not even a block away. Now, late this afternoon, prosecutors charged 36-year-old Anthony Frazier with a double murder and said that he is a convicted felon. A Ferguson man now charged with Monday shooting on a Metro bus that left... The guy who did this is from Ferguson, home of Michael Brown. Rest <laughs> in peace. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that a great storyline? Like, nah, they won't. They won't cover it like that. With a double murder, and said he is a convicted felon. A Ferguson man now charged with Monday shooting on a Metro bus that left two people dead. Prosecutors charged 36-year-old Anthony Frazier with two counts of murder, four counts of armed criminal action, robbery, and felony in possession of a handgun. He had seen the victim earlier and felt like he had disrespected him by staring at him the wrong way. And <laughs> Oh, my. I mean, of course, right? Of course. The same thing that happened at the, the Super Bowl parade. The guy, the guy was probably like, fuck, is that, is that Neon from high school? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, man, let me tell you something, man. You ever be looking at in the distance, just looking? If a yeah. sun man is in your line of sight, He'd be like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? He could be feel like... But, yeah, but let's be honest, though. Right? Let's be honest. He probably was staring the whole through the dude. He right, probably was maybe he like, was. No, I maybe he, he was. was. Maybe he was. was. Maybe he was, but what I'm saying is you could be you could be looking at, like, something. Like, say there's a um a, a, yeah. a, a cafe right there, and there's a fine girl in the cafe in the distance. Man. You looking like, dang, look at that girl, man. And it's man. a sun man sitting on a bench in front of the cafe. Yeah. Yo, well, that motherfucker gonna be fucking in, in, he gonna be bent out of shape. Like, no, this motherfucker keep looking at me, man. <laughs> right. To be fair though, like you could be in the bus and you could cough. And if you cough like your cough sounds off to this dude, he might start opening fire. I don't know. Seen the victim earlier and felt like he had disrespected him by staring at him the wrong way. And unfortunately, tragically decided to use a weapon instead of moving on about his day. The investigation revealed Frazier was wanted for carjacking earlier in the day on Chambers and Bell Fountain neighbor. So he was wanted for carjacking earlier in the day, so he was already, like, this is what you're dealing with. Yeah, yeah. And my, and my thing, too, Ike, is every time you hear about one of these clowns doing, like, a some violent act, they shouldn't have been out. They should have been behind bars because they they were let go early or some bullshit fucking reason. Where they should have been behind bars. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's and just... the state the state is charging this guy. The feds never ever come in and pick up these gun charges. It, it, well. <sighs> This one, I'm sure he's going to get, get fried anyway, but yeah, it'll be nice. But see, here's the thing. If you're the feds, right, the feds are, was made, wasn't made for some people, right? Feds wasn't made with some people in mind because if they took all these cases that they should take, they would have to build twice as many prisons. Where are they going to house all these people at? There's not enough federal prisons. The Pacific Ocean. Use a weapon instead of moving on about his day. The investigation revealed Frazier was wanted for carjacking earlier in the day on Chambers and Bell Fountain neighbors. Police said Frazier used a stolen vehicle to block the Metro bus from traveling down Airport Road, then allegedly got out of the car and opened fire on the bus at 2.30 in the afternoon. Authorities say this was a tragic, random act of violence. That's what I'm saying, like... When I say some men, like our low IQs prevent us from having um, empathy and remorse and sympathy. And 2.30 in the afternoon on a sunny spring day, zero fucks given. Think about it. 
he never thought about other people on that bus. Exactly. He killed someone else on the bus who had nothing to do with it. Right. He, they, he didn't. Like, he didn't listen. I'm telling you, as a son man, it didn't cross his. It wasn't like man, fuck everybody on the bus. He didn't think about it. And yeah. when 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 other people when other people fight to not recognize that they they fight against they no it can't be that no no way no way like, <laughs> I promise right. you he didn't think about it. When he got yeah. mad when that motherfucker was looking at him and he zoned in on that and he got into that space, he wasn't like, man, you know, I'll fuck everybody on that bus. Yeah, he was like, yeah. fuck everybody on that bus, but he wasn't like, he, he wasn't feeling like, oh, there's other people on the bus. It was just focused on that yeah. guy. But, but I mean, I went on, when we would tell Mayo or Mossy, you can't compete. They were, they didn't agree. You cannot compete with that. How do you compete right. with that? With the rules of engagement we have right now. Furthermore, yeah. say this. Check this out. Say that guy on the bus was armed, right? Let's just say he's a regular citizen, and the guy thought he was staring at him, and he wasn't. But the guy's ready to shoot him, right? Yeah. The guy pulls the car up in front of the bus, blocks the bus, hops out with his gun. You got to start busting through the windows of the front windows of that bus at this fool. Most people who are concealed carrier holders or legal carriers are not going to do that. No, we're too busy worried about laws and follow through and backlash yeah, and training, training, what's beyond your target, all that shit. And you're not built like that. Right, you ain't built like that to be like, oh, no, shit, not oh, not oh, in our oh, own country. Oh. <laughs> right, I mean, this guy will go to prison and do the time on his head. We've said that before, right? But I yeah. think about think about the second victim who had not, think about their loved ones. Like, how do you process this? How do you digest it? Right, we literally have to eat shit and smile because of this fucking bullshit narrative that they're force feeding us. Yep. Yep. Authorities say this was a tragic, random act of violence, and he did not know the victims. The two victims are identified by police. On Brito. As- Fucking on Brito. This guy got killed. He didn't know the guy. Of course. So they didn't even know each other. It wasn't like a beef. The guy didn't know him, and then the on Brito got hit in the fucking side. Oh. Um, been taking a lot of else too from the sun, man. Though. Last like, night, the girl think, in the, think in about, the the girl in the car that got the, yeah, the, 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 the guy girl, stole the, the 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 lady from uh the Kansas City with the two kegs. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, she got killed. Yeah, I mean, I man. Like, but 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 again, I like you know how what I said about the black and brown coalition bullshit, right? But again, their loved ones cannot. They like. Can they get the song word pass one time? Can they get one song word pass? No, they cannot. Here's my thing, man. This guy right here who didn't know that guy but was looking at him. I'm a son, man. I I can tell you this. The other guy in the fucking who had done the carjacking that morning with the long criminal record it was most likely him who looked at this guy hard and this guy didn't back down. Mm. The victims. The two victims are identified by police as 34-year-old Jaron Jackson Craig and 37-year-old Jorge Penzon. When she called me, she was screaming. And I, I just almost passed out. Zella Jackson Price, legend in gospel music and inducted into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame of Missouri, says Jaron Jackson Craig was her grandson and was the joy of her life. Jaron was on his way home from getting information about a new job that he was starting and never made it home. And he hugged me and kissed me and said, I'll see you this evening. And this was a new job too. And he was on his way home when uh, that happened. She says her grandson lived with her to help with chores around the house and always lended a helping hand and will be missed. Always found some humor 
in the worst situation, you know, but I can't find no humor in this. I took care of my mother in her waning years. And if someone removed me and left her abandoned like that, the hate in my heart would just grow like a cancer. Yeah, man. There's so many lives they affect. These yeah. centers affect so many lives. So, so like spontaneous. Now this so poor amazing. little old lady has no, no one, no one to care for her, to protect, to check the bump in the night. Yeah, but but they do it so like so non it's so nonchalant like how they go about it, just like you know, like a leaf in the wind just passing by, right? Like proud to announce that we have selected. Mr. Gabe Gore as the next city of St. Louis circuit attorney. St. Louis has a new head prosecutor. Just an hour ago, Governor Mike Parson announced that Gabe Gore will be the city's new circuit attorney. He was appointed by the governor. So the, the, the little black mayor right here, she had, she, 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 she got a, do that fake smile because she, there's nothing she could do. They took it out of her hands. It was like, bitch, you, you can't. This is this. No, we will we'll, we'll give you your your um, new yeah. circuit attorney. Thanks so much for being here at noon. I'm Kay Quinn. Gore will replace Kim Gardner, who stepped down earlier this week after months of controversy. Bob on your side's Christine Byers has been following this story from the beginning. She was there for today's announcement. Christine. Kay, about 100 people packed the hallway outside the circuit attorney's office for what could be the biggest announcement in public safety for our region all year. That includes the mayor, the governor, the attorney general, the sheriff, and the city of St. Louis police chief. And the newly named circuit attorney says it's symbolic of the relationships he wants to rebuild to make the office successful. Gore is a former U.S. attorney, and he does not have experience in state courts. Look at the way he walks. He ain't got no bop in his step. He just a square, no uptight, sun word. <laughs> yeah, he got no soul. No Where's soul. He's a U.S. attorney, and he does not have experience in state courts. He currently works for the Dowd Bennett Law Firm. During this morning's announcement, Governor Parsons said he selected Gore because he believes he's the best candidate to get the to get the office back on track. Gore says he takes the job seriously and is ready to get to work. He says his first priority is hiring staff, and his second priority is rebuilding relationships with the leaders who joined him for that announcement today. I asked him, how does he plan to put the public before the high-profile, highly politically connected clients he's leaving behind? You can look at the things that I've done in service of the community, and you won't find any connection to me pursuing anything other than um, things that I thought were important for the community. That's what I'm doing okay. here. Um, Just please is, don't be in like Dubai and the fucking year fucking your mistress that you hired for nine hundred thousand dollars a year. Please don't be doing that right. shit. Over time, nah, he he's a he's 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 a hard ass man. Uh, Dave Gore is now on the me, that might be what they need. Worse. It's good to be here. You also said that your office is now charging cases when they're applied for. That implies renewed or increased trust in police how automatic is Racist. that decision when you file those charges well when i say that we are, we're filing charges when they're applied on it doesn't mean that we're not conducting a re review process and determining that there's enough evidence to support the charges so i don't think it reflects necessarily an increased trust in police what it reflects is a timely process of conducting the analysis necessary to make a charging decision and perhaps that contrast was because you also you highlighted your predecessor's lax discretion on pursuing property crimes in particular. You said that uh, there would be a change in the way business was conducted, that property crimes wouldn't just be left uncharged. How would you describe that policy's impact to the city's economy or? You on mute, Doc. Think about that. The, 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 that. That black woman, Kim Gardner, didn't prosecute property crimes. Think about once the word gets on the street that the DA is not prosecuting property crimes. Just think about that. It's she party. didn't prosecute property crimes, which leads to people crimes because if you're not prosecuting property crime, we're robbing everything. And during the act of robbing everything, 
some people will get killed. Thanks. She, but she, they don't, son, they're, my mother, your son, they can't see the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that, they don't step. see point D from point A. Yeah. The cause and effect, apparently. Exactly. Um, Salute to Nick Tal Javon. He says, yo, uh, if America even considers the biological differences, it would justify all the policies they say are problematic, like racial profiling. Yeah, Man. I mean, yeah, definitely facts. Um, salute to um, Gabriel, man. I'm 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 gonna see that. I'm I'm gonna check out that story. I'm gonna see if I can find that story you just sent me. Um, salute to my man. Salute to my man, Mike R. Man, Mike R. In the building. Shout out to you, Mike R. Um, yeah, man. Um, so yeah, there you go. You have it, man. So he's he's gonna prosecute property crimes. That's a step in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, he did it, man. Tonight, we are learning more about the innocent people murdered while riding a Metro bus in North County. The suspect we know is behind bars tonight, but with his long rap sheet, loved ones are now asking why he was out on the streets. Alexis Otos digs into his past and hears from family no of one of the victims tonight. Alexis? Corey Sam, Christ. the suspect. Anthony Frazier is being held without bond tonight, but he currently... Was he 65 inches or 64 inches? Little teeny little guy, man has several open cases awaiting trial, spanning from St. Louis County to St. Charles County to Franklin County. I want the world to know that Jaron was full of love. 34-year-old Jaron Jackson Craig was leaving work when he was shot and killed while riding a Metro bus Monday afternoon. He was on his way home. He t Going to work, it took three buses to get to work. He lived with his grandmother in Olivet. He brought coffee up that morning, and he said, Grandma, I'm getting ready to go, and he hugged me. Say, I'll see you this evening. And that was the last time I heard of him. Around 2.30 Monday, investigators say this man, Anthony Frazier, while in a stolen car, stopped in front of a Metro bus in Berkeley. According to police, he started firing shots into the bus. They said he no was way. on the right in the back. And the bullet that hit him was the one that ricocheted, came through the, the bus window. We're wrong. told Frazier then got onto the bus and shot the second victim, Jorge Andreas Cantor Pinzon. He had seen the victim earlier and felt like he had disrespected oh so, so he was driving the own burrito mm, yeah that sun word had beef with the own burrito in the so, suit so yeah wow that's a plot twist right there for you. i'm sure for a rational reason that was started wow. by the own burrito well he said he looked at him wrong the window we're told frazier then got onto the bus and shot the second victim Jorge Andreas Cantor Pinzon. He had seen the victim earlier and felt like he had disrespected him by staring at him the wrong way and unfortunately, tragically decided to use a weapon instead of moving on about his day. But the big question is why was Frazier out on the street in the first place? I told right you, now, I he fucking has active knew warrants for ongoing criminal what, theft like cases. Like 100? From St. Peter's to Sunset Hill. 20, 30, 40, 50. I fucking know hey. it. All the time. Hey. He has active warrants for ongoing criminal theft cases from St. Peter's to Sunset Hills to Frontenac to Chesterfield to town and country with multiple court documents calling him a danger to the community. It shouldn't have been out, period. First Lord Four found Frazier's criminal history dates back to 2006. Repeatedly, he received short... I was off by a year. <laughs> Mm. Close enough. History dates back to 2006. Repeatedly, he received shortened sentences, probation, or drug treatment programs from various judges. This was a heinous and vile act. Uh, it is something that is very discouraging, not only for um, our mode of transportation, but our entire region. So the major case squad was actually able to solve this case within less than 24 hours, and they credit that in large part to the surveillance video that captured the suspect on that right, Metro we're bus. We're going to have more Metro security bus shootings that that and glider mass shootings camp. in the last like ten, you know, five years. Yeah. 
24 hours, and they credit that in large part to the surveillance video that captured the suspect on that Metro bus. Metro security saying that that robust camera system across their buses and trains is a large part of their way of keeping the community safe. Reporting live in the studio, Alexis Zotos, First Solar 4. But, but let's be honest, I, I give, I fucking guarantee you, right? This guy has more bodies that people don't know about. That he wasn't caught for. This ain't the oh, only yeah. two bodies. Oh, yeah. All those un, nobody in custody. Yeah. We are learning more tonight about two innocent riders police say were shot and killed on a Metro bus in Berkeley yesterday afternoon. New tonight, Robert Townsend spoke to loved ones of both men who were just trying to make it home. Kelly Jaron, Jackson Craig, and Jorge Contour Pinzon never knew each other. Both got on a Metro bus. And those who love them cannot believe they never made it off the bus alive. I'm so hurt. A heartbroken Sharon Jackson is in shock. It's hard. It's hard to take. The Olivet mom cannot believe her 34-year-old son, Jaron Jackson Craig, whom she last saw two days ago, was shot and killed while riding a Metro bus in Berkeley Monday afternoon. He's gone for the rest of my life. What mother want to bury their kid before she goes? Police say Anthony Frazier blocked the bus with a car he carjacked earlier in Bell Fountain neighbors and wow. shot at it. They say Frazier first Fresh shot 37 year old Jorge Contour Penzone because he, quote, looked at him the wrong way. Witnesses told police Frazier fired into the bus, then got on it and fired more shots. His family says Jaron Jackson Craig suffered a gunshot wound to his chest and died. Why, Jaron? Why? He never bothered nobody. She says her son was on the Metro bus heading home wrong, huh? to Olivet from a job interview. Relatives say Jaron was looking forward to starting his new factory position next week. His mom froze when she saw him in a hospital bed. And I just saw my baby laying there. And all I could do was just call his name, kept saying Jaron. I figured if I say it loud enough, he'll get up. Somebody... Just took him away just like that. Wow. It's just so shocking. Jaron's grieving grandmother is St. Louis gospel singer and legend, Zella Jackson Price. Like I said, I've lost others, but I've experienced losing somebody instantly and you expecting them home. I'm just asking the Lord to give me strength. A close friend tells me Jorge Contour Pinzon was also a nice guy just trying to make it home to Maryland Heights. Good thing he we know the squinty Louis sun man is in jail. Like, my God, what have I done? <laughs> well, a nice guy just trying to make it home to Maryland Heights. He moved to St. Louis a year ago from Columbia, where he previously worked as a bus driver. Tonight, police are also looking for the man who opened fire on another Metro bus. Investigators Shut released this fuck? video in hopes of identifying the gunman who fired several shots. This happened on March. Is that a tiger? It like a tiger. You know, beat him, man. It's a tiger, yo. I look like a tiger, man. Yeah, yeah, we're really fucked now. The tigers are gonna. So yeah, that <laughs> excuses what the sun did because everybody's doing it now. So look, <laughs> everybody was crying. Mm. Yo, yes, I think that's Salute a tiger. The... Salute to Nick Tal Javon, man. He says anti-racial profiling equals pro crime. <laughs> Show Suginu. Says shout out to Gun Hill Road, yo. Damn, my man. The Bronx yo, yo, in the building. Yo, but I of course right on cue, right? That's that uh that black dude who got the new job, the good news. Of course he was killed by some fucking summer, right? Right on cue. If you yeah, get some I mean, good... listen, man, listen, man. That guy that 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 is just like these stories are so tragic and so terrible man and so like, typical it's it's just like it's 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 almost as if like people would get tired of this one day yeah like you would think that's why i say man like the sun community we we don't have those traits 
and I think if we think about if sons had those traits, think about if sons were empathetic and were more and reflective and thoughtful in this 700 murders in this fucking city every year. Every you got this what, fucking turmoil and inner turmoil and inner yes would be going on with those sun people. Maybe this we we maybe we evolved Coping. to not have those traits because we evolved around each other. Wow. And it, it's you don't listen, man. Thinking about that shit too hard would drive you crazy. Yeah, that's interesting. That that's actually an interesting point you just made about you know the evolution of coping. I mean, it makes sense because yeah. it doesn't make sense how how there's no type of there's not the reaction necessary for this kind of uh activity. just like i said the the glider system criminal justice system wasn't built for sons but i think our psyche our brains were built for sons it was yeah. built to be around sons where a lot of people gonna get murdered 